Right. Good morning, everybody. I'm Angus Holdsworth from Andam. Um, and today we're going to talk about the year. Now, what a year it's been. We all know that it's been pretty rough. COVID has not made it much fun for any of us, um, but we've still been working um, and we've still had some interesting projects in this year. So uh, can't complain too much, really. So we're going to start off with what was a very local project to us, which is nice um, because it's not very often we actually get to work that close to our office so this is one of the closest jobs we've done maybe you know 10 minutes from our office about five miles isn't it something like yeah. that and this was if you're familiar with Chelmsford the army and navy was quite an icon um it's changed quite a lot over the years it used to be a pub a big music venue there it's now shops and things and it always had or since the 60s had this big flyover um that finally reached the end of its life back in 2019 um, after the very very hot summer the expansion finally finished off the temporary structure that was only supposed to be in place for five or six years um, and CDC Clark Demolition Group won the contract to take it down in fact our first meeting and it was pretty much this time last year in Chelmsford with them um, and it was completed from February to April last year as I say, it was a temporary structure in the first place when it was built and it was up for 40, 40 odd years. So it had done really well and lasted the test of time. Quite challenging, quite challenging logistically. Uh, there was a lot of services and voids and all sorts of bits and pieces in the roundabout around the flyover itself, which made it quite challenging when placing the cranes, etc. But we got there. And all the pieces were shipped back up to CDC, True Sevens Yard up in um, Suffolk. And then it was smashed to pieces and recycled. Some artistically shot footage of the demolition works, which is always nice. And if you have the misfortune of driving into Chelmsford through along the route the flyover used to cover, you will know how much of a pain it has now become. It's made a hell of a difference and really uh, made the traffic flow worse through Chelmsford. There it is now, no flyover, all gone. Next one we're going to move on to is the works we've been doing at Coleman, uh, at Coleman's at Euston with Coleman and Company. Um, this is pretty much in a chrono chronological order. So we did the flyover first and then the works at Euston, which we've been working on for a fair few years now, um, then developed after that or, or actually took place on site after that. A divine, the design had been developed over a few years, not just for this, but for other aspects of the project. So this was the old um, access ramp. And behind it, you can see the uh, PSB, the power signal box, which is being demolished next year, I believe back into this year, next year. So one of the first things to take down the, the front end of the ramp that then allowed us to form a, um, a geogrid reinforced or stabilized access ramp into the site and then to build the piling platform or the, the working platform for the cranes to operate on. And that ramp now sits there quite happily and is used um, by all the contractors working in there. You can see the proximity to the, to the station and the live railway. Um, steel frame structure with in situ concrete deck and uh, in situ parapets. I might have been precast parapets thinking about it, but I think it was in situ. <clears throat> uh, good old lockdown, COVID phase one.
So we did all the, the working platform design, the demolition analysis, stability of the structure in the partially demolished demolish state, plant loadings on the on the structure, um, and working with Coleman's to develop the, the lifting sequence here to keep the structure stable throughout. Now working on the next phase of the works, which is actually working our way back down through the station itself, because this is this is the line where the new platforms will be for HS2. We did seem to have an awful lot of nice weather during that lockdown, didn't we? When you, especially when you look back at videos like this. There we go. So that was successfully completed towards the middle of the year. And that brings us on to the Regent Street project, um, which we, we were working for Sam Evans um, and kind of built upon our partnership with Sam Evans and Sarans. Um, so this is Leeds, a, uh, again, a, a structure that reached the end of its useful life. Uh, quite a few problems with the underpass and, and things around this bridge, which is why the decision has been made to replace it with a new structure. Central spans of the three span structure were taken out of the SPMT and then the two outer spans were lifted out with a mobile crane. Um, outer spans were pre-stressed, sorry, I'm talking rubbish, they were post-tensioned, and the central spans were post-tensioned as well. And you can see the SPMT doing what they do best, which is moving around in a very restrictive space with very heavy loads, and there was this was complicated by there was a, a big masonry culvert underneath the road there, all sorts of services, loads of bits and pieces that had to be assessed. We did the full AIP submission for the works um, and all the, the temporary works analysis for the crane positions, SPMT working platforms, analysis of the culvert, analysis of the structure, <coughs> the um, checking the pretension beams would work with a reversal of stress on them. And then we've got phase two of that will happen next year. Which is the other half of the of the flyover. The new bridge is being built this year and that that's that'll be open before we demolish the old one or the, the second part of the old one. You can see one of the sections that was lifted out with the SPMT being broken up. We put it down on some stools uh, and then it was smashed up in place and then recycled. And this brings us on to a job that was completed um, a couple of weekends back. So this was uh, removing a concrete footbridge from Crawley Station, uh, 1960s vintage structure again. Um, and we proposed when we met on site with Econ that it should be taken out by um, cutting and lifting it. Uh, we did the crane position on this job and the full demolition sequence for the, for the scheme, working out all the weights, working out how to lift it. Uh, that, that there is the structure spanning two tracks of at Crawley Station. And then we've got a few pictures of the works being undertaken, which is always nice. So you've got the core room works being undertaken first for your slinging points. And then the track saw set, getting set up, or ready to be set up to uh, actually cut the pieces free. So the steps themselves were done as dynamic lifts, i.e. they were cut free in the air uh, because they weren't very heavy. And then the main span was undertaken as a 
as a um, static lift, i.e. the cut was undertaken in such a way that the bridge wasn't hanging from the crane when it was cut free. That means that if there was an, a problem with the weight estimate, it could sit there, it could have been strapped back in place and braced up temporarily. Again, by thinking about the, the methodology and the sequence of the works, you can make a, a demolition sequence that much safer very easily. There's the first set of steps coming out. I'm sitting down in the yard. And then the main span coming up and away. And that was it. So that was that was probably the last bridge we've done before Christmas. We've got a few going on over Christmas, but nothing.